Hello students, today let us take up the second lecture on plant hormones and we will learn about gibberellins and cytokinins in it. First let us start with gibberellins. Gibberellins are another class of plant hormones which include compounds possessing a gibbon ring skeleton and stimulate plant growth in minute quantities. They were discovered incidentally in the early part of the 20th century when Japanese farmers noted that rice plants suffering from the disease bakane, meaning foolish as seedlings, were much tall, thin and pale compared to normal plants and they also had longer and narrower leaves and were mostly without fruits. Sawada in 1912 suggested that the disease is due to the infection of the plants by the Ascomycetes fungus Gibberella fujikuroi. Later, Iwiti Kurosawa in 1926 confirmed the role of the fungus by inducing the disease in healthy rice seedlings using sterile filtrates of the fungus. Further, in 1939, Yabuta and Hayashi isolated the compound responsible for promoting growth in crystalline form and named it as gibberellin A. Gibberellin A was later found to consist of a mixture of many growth promoters and were collectively known as gibberellins. In addition to the fungus, Gibberellins were also reported to be present in higher plants by several workers like Mitzel et al. in 1951, Wes and Finney in 1957, and Sumiki and Kawarada in 1961. Till then, more than 80 gibberellins have been isolated from various plant sources and are named G1 through GAN in the order of their discovery. The gibberellins may exist in more than one form within the plant and higher concentrations of gibberellins have been found in rapidly growing and developing regions of the plant. Gibberellins in the esterified forms or neutral gibberellins act as reservoir gibberellins which are converted to the active acidic form of gibberellins when needed by the plant while many gibberellins have also been found to occur in bound or conjugated form in plants. Let us now learn about the biochemistry of gibberellins. Cross et al. in 1961 established the chemical structure of the gibberellins as a group of closely related compounds with one or more gibbon ring skeleton consisting of a carbon skeleton with four interlocking rings or tetracarbocyclic compounds. The different gibberellins have different number and position of the functional groups. Gibberellins are commonly diterpenoid acids synthesized by the terpenoid pathway in plastids and modified in the endoplasmic reticulum and cytosol to form the physiologically active form. Gibberellins are broadly grouped into two classes based on the presence of either 19 or 20 carbons. The 19 carbon gibberellins such as gibberellic acid do not have the carbon number 20 and instead possesses a five-member lactone bridge linking carbons 4 and 10. The biologically active forms of gibberellins are generally 19 carbon forms and mostly dihydroxylated gibberellins which possesses hydroxyl groups on both carbon 3 and carbon 13. Of all the gibberellins, GA3 is the most biologically active form followed by GA1, GA4, and GA2. 
Let us now learn about the physiological effects of gibberellins. The most characteristic effects of gibberellins on shoot growth are increased internode length with increased leaf growth and enhanced apical dominance. Therefore, dwarf mutants in many species may be induced to grow by applying gibberellins. The next effect of gibberellins is gibberellins helps in breaking dormancy of seeds, tubers, shoot internodes, and buds, which are broken in natural conditions by vernalization or exposure to low temperature. Thirdly, gibberellins induce flowering of long short day plants maintained in short day photoperiods, while it inhibits flowering of short day plants in inductive short day photoperiods. Next, gibberellins also play a role in early stages of seed germination by signaling starch hydrolysis through induction of the enzyme alpha amylase in the alluron cells. Let us now learn about the mode of action of gibberellins. Gibberellins regulate many physiological processes and the mechanisms for these activities are commonly explained as the effect of gibberellins on lipids and membranes. The various mechanisms proposed for the mode of action of gibberellins are First, control of enzyme synthesis by gibberellins. Gibberellins have been shown to increase the activity of many enzymes including alpha amylase, proteinase, ribonuclease, B-glucanase, and pentosanases in alluron layers of grains and gibberellins are believed to control the synthesis of these enzymes at post-transcriptional level. The next is the effect of gibberellins on RNA synthesis. Gibberellins are believed to influence the synthesis of RNA in many plant systems by increasing the template DNA availability, RNA polymerase activity, or by a combination of both. Third is the control of enzyme secretion by gibberellins. Action of gibberellins on the enzymes are believed to be mediated through proliferation of rough endoplasmic reticulum and enhanced activity of membrane-bound enzymes which help in the synthesis and secretion of the enzymes. Next is the effects of gibberellins on membranes. Gibberellins influence the lipid polarity of membranes affecting two main processes. The permeability of the membranes to regulatory ions and the activity of membrane-bound enzymes such as ATPs. Gibberellins produce both these effects by the same mechanism involving increasing of membrane fluidity. Next is the effects of gibberellins on gene expression. Gibberellins also induces the degradation of DELA proteins by polyubiquitination destroying the proteasome pathway. DELA proteins normally bind gibberellin-dependent transcription factors and its degradation leads to binding of phytochrome interacting factors to gene promoters and regulate gene expression. Let us now learn about the next group of plant hormones that is the cytokinins. Cytokinins are another class of plant hormones whose main effect is to promote cell division or cytokinesis in plants. Cytokinins are derivatives of the purine adenine. The discovery of cytokinin was first documented by Van Oberwijk et al. in 1941 reporting the presence of an active stimulant of cell division in coconut milk. Further, in 1955, Carlos Miller et al. isolated a compound responsible for stimulation of cell division from yeast DNA and 
name it as kinetin. Later, many other compounds promoting cell division were synthesized and Miller et al. in 1956 grouped them including kinetin under a generic name kinin. Then, the term cytokinins was proposed by D.S. Leatham in 1963. Let us now see the biochemistry of cytokinins. There are more than 100 non-synthetic and native cytokinins and the structural requirements for compounds with cytokinin activity generally include an adenine molecule with intact purine ring and with an N6 substituent except in some like diphenylurea and its derivatives where a modified purine ring is present. Thus, cytokinins can be grouped into two types, adenine type cytokinins and phenylurea type cytokinins. First, let us see what adenine type cytokinins are. Adenine type cytokinins are represented by kinetin, zeatin, and 6 benzyl aminopurine. And they are mostly synthesized in roots, cambium, and other actively dividing tissues. Next, phenylurea type cytokinins include diphenylurea and t-diazurone or t-dz in short, etc. And they have not been found in plants. Among the naturally occurring cytokinins, zeatin or trans-6-purine is the most common one, followed by dihydrozeatin and isopentenyl adenine. They occur in both free and bound forms and the bound form are converted into free zeatin by enzymes. Synthetic cytokinins include kinetin or 6 furfural aminopurine, diphenylurea and tdiazurone or TDZ, BAP or benzyl aminopurine, etc. Next, let us learn about the physiological effects of cytokinins. Cytokinins stimulate cell enlargement and cell divisions known as cytokinesis in plant cells. The next effect is cytokinins modify apical dominance and promote the growth of lateral axillary buds. Thirdly, cytokinins promote chloroplast maturation. The next effect is cytokinins delay leaf senescence in plants. Next, cytokinins promote nutrient diversion causing mobilization of nutrients such as amino acids from other parts of plant to leaves. Cytokinins also stimulate the release of dormancy of seeds and birds. The next effect is they also induce flowering in short-day plants. In addition, cytokinins also regulate morphogenesis of shoot and root in tissue culture along with auxins. Let us now learn about the mode of action of cytokinins. Cytokinins are involved in many plant processes and the mechanisms for their mode of action are First, let us see about the role of cytokinins in delaying senescence. Cytokinins delay senescence of plant organs by preventing protein breakdown, activating protein synthesis, and assembling nutrients from nearby tissues. The next mode is action of cytokinin on enzymes. Cytokinins have been shown to influence the activities of many specific enzymes like tyramine methylferase in roots of germinating barley embryos and the rates of synthesis of ribulose biphosphate carboxylase and NADP-dependent glyceraldehyde phosphate dehydrogenase. 
The next is the action of cytokinins on nucleic acid synthesis. Cytokinin affects DNA synthesis indirectly and has been shown to be associated with protein synthesis or activation. The next is the role of cytokinins on transfer RNA. Endogenous cytokinins have also been proposed to exert their activity by being incorporated into transfer RNA. Fifthly, cytokinin signaling in plants. Cytokinin signaling in plants is mediated through a two-component phosphorylase pathway. First, cytokinin binds to a histidine kinase receptor in the endoplasmic reticulum membrane, resulting in the autophosphorylation of the receptor, transferring the phosphate to a phosphotransfer protein. The phosphotransfer proteins then phosphorylate and activate a family of transcription factors called the type B response regulators or RR which regulate the transcription of numerous genes, including the type ARRs that negatively regulate the pathway. Let us now see the conclusion. As we have seen, the gibberellins are a complex and large group of related compounds which control cell elongation and enzyme secretion. Although initially discovered in fungi, they have been found to be present in most plants and plants possesses one or more form of these compounds. The mechanisms for the physiological activity of gibberellins commonly involve the effect of gibberellins on lipids and membranes. Cytokinins are another group of plant hormones containing N6 substituted adenine derivatives. Cytokinins also affect many aspects of plant growth and development including cell division, soot initiation and growth, leaf senescence, apical dominance, sink or source relationships, nutrient uptake, phyllotaxis and vascular gametophyte and embryonic development as well as the response to biotic and abiotic factors. The mechanism for the mode of action and signaling of the hormone involves the action of cytokinin on enzymes and other membrane-associated proteins. Thank you.